her. Okay, that was supposed to be funny. You know, the villagers in Minecraft are like, her. Anyways, that's getting old now. So, about the difficulty of Minecraft dungeons, in case you weren't aware of this. When you're past the tutorial, and you're at your camp, and you're at the mission select table. There's two ways to change the difficulty of the game. First of all, you can hit Y to change the difficulty. You've got the default underneath my pumpkin head. Enemies are balanced for a first playthrough. Very few enhanced or enchanted enemies. Rewards are average. There is an adventure mode. Not adventure mode, sorry. An adventure difficulty. Adventure mode is Diablo 3, forget that. Where the enemies are hard to defeat, hit harder. New enemy enchantments, rewards are better. New gear and artifacts are available. And then you've got Apocalypse. Enemies are ultra beefy and ultra punishing. Lots of enemies with powerful enchantments. Rewards are ultra good, even more rare gear and artifacts available. And again, you need to defeat the Arch Illager on default to unlock the adventure. And you have to defeat adventure in order to get through Apocalypse. So that is the gated difficulty, which I'm not a fan of. It's the same thing Final Fantasy VII Remake did. Let's not get into that. Once you're at your mission select, you can also see the missions that you've already accomplished. You can actually replay them, and this is the other way you can change the difficulty. So let's say we do Creeper Woods, which is the first mission I did after the tutorial. When you click on it, you know what? Let me get let me get my pumpkin head out of the way for a minute. Oh. So what you're going to see at the left there is another way to increase the difficulty. Right now, we're on default one, as you can see, under the name Creeper. If you tab over, you can do default two, in which it tells you your recommended power should be four, mine is at two, and it's 1.7 times the difficulty, and the gear and artifact power is of a value of one to nine. Tab over again, it's 1 to 11, gear artifact and power. This time it's 2.7 times the difficulty. Once I completed that mission and I went to be able to play it again, it allowed me to go to uh, default 4 and 5. These ones originally I could not choose until I uh, accomplished the mission. Anyways, that, that's it. Now, how do you unlock the sixth one? I don't, I don't really know. I think you just have to like play it on a harder difficulty, start the mission, whatever. I just wanted to share with you that there's two different ways to actually increase the difficulty. There's the base via the default button on Y, and then there's the actual mission itself in which you can toggle these values and it tells you how much more difficult it'll make it each time. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be. And uh, if you liked the video, well, I mean, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll just break that thumb off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be great. You do have another hand that can probably function, because the other one's stuck in your rear end. That would be fantastic, but if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, boys and girls, or whatever it is you identify as, and as always, hopefully I'll see at least some of you in the next video. Bye for now.